In this video, I will show you how to integrate any API into Google Sheets. We will use the Weather API as an example. As you can see, I am pulling live weather data and displaying it here. Let's see how to do this. First, you need to know the API endpoints, which consist of a base URL and an API method. You can find this information in their API documentation site. To access the API, you also need to have an API key. In this case, I am using Weather API. Here's how you can obtain your API key. Visit weatherapi.com. Select the free tier. Proceed with the signup process. You will need to verify your email as well. The API key from there. Now let's head to the API documentation page. Here, you can find the base URL, and you can see the API methods that you can append to the base URL to access weather data for any location. Finally, you also need to append request parameters. In this case, you will need to provide two mandatory parameters, API key and location. Other parameters are optional and determine how you want your response. You could explore this in more detail. This is an interactive API explorer for this site. It's only for testing the API. It's not required for our project. However, it's better to test it out here first and see the structure of the response in advance. Let me paste my API key here and then click Show Response. Here you can see the API endpoints being used along with the structure of the response. This structure is called JSON. It's a lot of data in here, but we will only be extracting a few values from it. Now, let's go back to our sheet. I will open the script editor by clicking on Extensions and then Apps Script. This will open the editor in the browser itself. Let's go through the code together. The API URL is constructed by interpolating the location parameter and your API key into the API URL. This URL is used to fetch weather data from the Weather API. The URL fetch app dot fetch function sends an HTTP GET request to the API using the constructed URL and stores the response in the response variable. This is the main function responsible for fetching data. The JSON response from the API is parsed into a JavaScript object using json.parse method, and the resulting data is stored in the data variable. The code checks if the data object contains an error property. If there is an error in the API response, the function returns undefined to indicate that there is no valid data available. If there is no error in the API response, the function extracts specific weather data from the data object and stores it in the weather data array. This includes temperature, feels like temperature, weather condition, wind speed, humidity, precipitation, and UV index. Finally, the function returns the weather data array, which contains the extracted weather data, allowing you to use this data as needed. And finally, this block on the top is basically JS doc syntax that enables autocomplete and provide documentation when we use this function in our sheet as a custom function. Now I am opening my sheet. I will first type location name, and in the next cell, start typing the name of the function that we just covered. You can see the autocomplete plus the documentation about the function. You can see the weather data updating here. If you have any question, please ask them in the comments. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.